You're watching Cartel TV and I'm Jenny. The Ranger is back and it's awesome. Now, I may not need a you day to day, but the amount of times I wanted to maybe pick up some furniture or some garden things or drive a cement mixer through a muddy construction site does make owning a ute pretty appealing. And modern utes have a great mix of practicality, comfort and off-road capability, making them even more appealing. Today, I'm looking at the 2018 Ford Ranger FX4 Special Edition. Now last year, the Ranger was the second most sold car in Australia. So let's take a look at why the Ranger is such a popular choice. The Ranger looks rugged, macho, and reliable. While still having a modern sleekness, shall we say the Chris Hemsworth of Utes. In this trim level, aside from the general outline, the Ranger comes with black side steps, mirrors, fog lamps, special edition grille, and door and tailgate handles, all black. Also black are the bonnet roof racks roll bar. Apparently the design is like black. If you want to go full Batman, you can opt for black paint. If you'd like a bit more contrast, you can pair the blacked out details with either magnetic grey, white or silver paint. The wheels are also darkened and they're 18 inch. With a car this size, they are a little bit conservative, but the bigger tyres don't make them look too small. Load box is illuminated and bed liner has a 12 volt socket, while the lid has these cup holders and mobile phone tray. These last parts tell you about the real nature of the Ranger. Sure, this is a pretty cool looking creation, but the main appeal does lie in its practicality and capability. And guys, it's a little dirty. We have been off road this morning, so please deal with it. The engine in this particular one is a 3.2 litre i5 common rail diesel with 147 kilowatts and 470 newton metres of torque from 1750 revs per minute. This also shows the Ranger's main goal. Official fuel consumption figures are 8.7 litres per 100 kilometres for this automatic. With a fuel tank capacity of 80 litres, this gives the Ranger good autonomy. With a weight of 2200 kilograms, the mighty diesel is capable. It's a competent and comfortable cruiser, a well-versed off-roader and a proven cargo hauler. This one comes with a six-speed automatic gearbox with a sequential shift function. It works really well with the engine and makes the most of the low torque range, greatly reducing noise levels and fuel consumption. On the road, you'll enjoy a commanding presence with some pretty nifty safety features, including adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist. You will also love the comfort, which is good for a car of its class. The engine is refined and a perfect match for the body, giving the Ranger enough capability in all situations while still being cost efficient. If there's one thing to complain about, on the open roads, the wind and road noise is pretty high, but that's pretty normal for Utes. In the city, the Ranger is like a bear on the loose. It's a big car and driving it's awesome, but navigating tight alleys and parking spaces is not the easiest thing. Yes, I know there's bigger options out there, but that doesn't make driving the Ranger in a crowded city any easier. What does make it easier to drive is electronic crash prevention features we'll talk about later, and front and rear parking sensors as well as a rear view camera that get off-road and the bear is in its element. Off-road and working conditions are where the Ranger shines. Ford's test showed amazing efficacy even while pulling one tonne of load up a 45 degree incline. Calling the Ranger just capable and sturdy would be an understatement. It's a wonderfully versed machine with reassuring stability and heavy duty construction, further aided by the electronic stability management system. It can carry and pull cargo or logs both forwards and backwards and on pretty much any terrain as its structural rigidity and traction control systems work their magic. However, there is one thing to bigger about. Towing capacity is three and a half tonne and that's by no means little, but it is 700 kilograms less than the previous model. Long gone are the days where trucks were simply workhorses. Comfort and luxury are more present now. Okay, maybe not in that rugged box on wheels, the 70 series Land Cruiser, but comfort is definitely apparent in the Ranger. It can seat five adults, the front seats are bucket, and the FX4 trim gets leather accented seats. The leather theme continues on the steering wheel and gear knob. You also get six speakers and an eight inch color touchscreen with sat nav with traffic management channel and Bluetooth connectivity with voice control. And one thing I do like about this is the layout and the ease of use. The buttons are all really big and easy to use. I mean, the whole system's really simple. It only took us about 20 seconds to set up the phone. Um, we also noticed that the safety signals are really loud, which if you're on site and you've got construction noise, it still means you're gonna hear them, which is great. 
so that even the most challenged of workmates can still use it with ease. You've got a number of power outlets in the Ranger, including a 230 volt inverter in the rear console, two 12 volt outlets on the front, one in the back, and another one in the cargo area. Comfort is further aided by a dual zone climate and a cooled console. The Ranger has loads of handy, well-sized and accessible storage placed around the cabin. And if that's not enough for you, you've always got the tray in the back. After all the praise, some people might expect a futuristic interior design. Those people would be disappointed. Look, it's far from outdated, but it's definitely geared more towards practicality than the design. But I am finding it more comfortable than the Holden Colorado. You need to be able to operate everything with ease while you're on rough terrains. Small buttons and complicated controls are the last thing you need in those conditions. Some of the Ranger's safety features include automatic headlamps, auto dimming rear view mirror, adaptive cruise control, forward collision alert, lane keeping assist, lane departure warning, dynamic stability control, electronic locking rear diff, emergency brake assist, heel descent and launch systems, adjustable speed limiter, front side and curtain airbags, alarm with perimeter, interior motion and vehicle inclination sensors, parking sensors and camera, rollover mitigation, traction control, trailer sway control. All this translates to five-star ANCAP rating and the only thing that's missing is AEB. The Ranger is well-designed, reasonably refined, safe and packed with features and advanced tech and it's a proper workhorse. It has loads of room, storage space and it can hold plenty of cargo while successfully climbing up a greasy street pole. Again, there's so many factors that contribute to why this is one of the best sold vehicles in Australia. However, anyone in need of such a vehicle will probably love the Ranger more than I do. Thanks for watching Cartel TV. Now here at Cartel, we've got ourselves a utility month. We've got the Ranger, we've got D-Max, BT50, Hilux and Navara. Oh my lord! So if you love utilities, you are gonna love Cartel TV this month. So stay tuned and peace for now! <laughs>